I just have to say it verbally and then it was fixed. Yep. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> This is the Exos 2, the kind of closest thing we have at this moment to uh, the Iron Man suit. Incredibly strong, and the uh, interesting thing is it doesn't feel any different if you put 150 pounds on the back or it's unloaded. trying to trick the brain into seeing things that aren't actually there. What's coming up down the road and very quickly is the Harry Potter cloak. You wouldn't see him at all. Uh, he would be completely invisible to you. They could actually pull out, uh, very similar to what they carry with a survival blanket, throw it over top of them. And unless you walked right into them, you wouldn't know that they were there. This is a story about silk and milk. The silk is from golden orb weave spiders. There you go, pumpkin. They're incredibly inquisitive. They're a lot of fun. The milk from specially bred goats. Good luck trying to connect those dots. So what's the thread? There's a lot of interest in spider silk fibers because they're stronger than, than almost any other man-made fiber, and they also are elastic. Because it's stronger ounce for ounce than other materials, there are many possible medical uses, from artificial ligaments to sutures for surgery. So the question is, how do you produce large amounts of the material? Spider farms just don't work. They tend to kill each other. So molecular biologist Randy Lewis figured out how to put the spider's silk-making genes into goats. Chemical engineer Heather Rothfuss separates the silk protein from the milk. No arachnophobia for her. In fact, she's actually warmed up to working with spiders. I'm on the roll now, so it's collecting okay. Just four drops of protein processed from the milk can be spun into four yards of silk. Uh, so there'll be a lot of applications, eye surgery, plastic surgery, neurosurgery. Meet Roku and Hex, the world's first chimeric monkeys, engineered with genes from as many as six different parents. Scientists at the Oregon National Primate Institute combined embryonic stem cells taken from several monkeys and implanted them into the host embryos of female monkeys. Roku and Hex are two of three monkeys born. The cell groups in their bodies contain as many as six distinct genomes. In a process that takes about a half hour, doctors combine the patient's skin with an enzyme solution and then spray it back onto the treated burn site. The skin cells grow together and cover up the whole surface. Since surgeons don't have to harvest as much donor skin from other sites on the body, it's easier on the patient. And so far, it looks like the spray-on skin heals and functions as well as grafts. Sony has developed a full-color, flexible display built onto a sheet of plastic that can be bent but still show video. The 2.5-inch screen, which is one of the first of its type in the world, has a resolution of 160 by 120 pixels, making it a little larger than a typical cell phone screen, but a little lower resolution. It's an OLED, or organic light-emitting diode display. In such displays, the pixels emit their own light, and so an additional source isn't required, as it is in a conventional LCD panel. 
That means the screens consume less power and can be made thinner. OLEDs also handle fast-moving images well and offer good color reproduction.